Good evening, everybody. I'm back from my honeymoon. Um, <laughs> and uh, the first opportunity I had to record a video, uh, I've decided to do it on using machine learning, specifically reinforcement learning, with Unity 3D, the game engine. Uh, it's pretty easy, actually. It works. They got a really, they got a really strong showing for this. I'm going to show you guys uh, how to install everything, and then a quick demo of both the trained and how to train. Um, and then in the next video, we'll make our own custom environment. Okay, let's go. So, uh, first thing you need to do is you need to find this website because the specifically. I mean, if you, if you use Mac or Windows, you're fully supported. You can just go download Unity uh, off the website, but they, for some reason, they hate Linux, and they hide everything from the Linux users. So the thing you need is this. Download the hub for Linux. I just Google searched for Linux Unity 3D hub, and I uh, eventually came across this website, okay? So I'll link to this in the uh, description below, and you can, you can copy-paste it. Not to worry about it too much. So you're gonna download this. It's going to be an app image. Okay, if you've never used an app image before, all you do is you download the file, right click on it, go to properties, and make it executable. Or however you, whatever version of Linux you're using, you just need to make it executable. Then you double click on it and it will ask to install. There's some settings. It just, it works like a regular um, app uh, executable file at that point in time. Once it's done and installed, you'll have this window here without these installs set. It'll be projects, learn, installs. You need to create an account. Uh, it's unfortunate, but Unity wants you to create an account. I guess they're trying to smooth, uh, I mean, I don't know. They, they do a lot of stuff online, so I guess it's helpful, who knows. But you need to make an account. Just do it quick, don't worry about it. And then once you're done making an account, uh, you're gonna go to installs here and go to add. And then you're gonna find the uh, 2017 version here, 4.27 F1. Uh, I'm not totally sure this is the only version you can use, but it seems to be the one they suggest in the documentation. So go ahead and download this. It takes a while, because it's, it's over a gig, I think. So once it's installed, you'll have this 2017 4.27 F1 LTS experimental version of Unity installed. You'll probably have this one too, because I think it auto downloads this one or not. Um, doesn't matter. You want this one here. Um, once it's installed, you can... We'll do the next part now. So you're going to want to go to the Unity Technology ML Agents uh, GitHub repo, okay? And we're going to clone this baby. Ooh. That's kind of a... That's the uh, command you use to train. I'll show you that in a minute. So first thing we're gonna do is, like always, we're gonna set up a virtual environment and install everything new in that virtual environment, just for the guys who don't really know what's going on. Okay, so Unity tutorial, uh, CD Unity tutorial, and we're gonna use Python 3.6. I'm pretty sure you gotta use 3.6. It's the one that works for me. I highly recommend it. Um, and we're gonna go, I do this again. <laughs> So that's going to create a fresh Python 3.6 environment for us, uh, which we can source into. Okay, so right there you see it says Unity Tutorial. This environment will have nothing installed, so pip list will show nothing. Okay, there's nothing in there except for setup tools, but that comes auto magically. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to go clone this whole repo. We're going to git clone. Uh, it'll take a sec, and when it's done, we're going to go through and install all the different libraries. And hopefully that'll pull down all of the machine learning libraries we'd need. And if not, we'll add them too. Looks like it's going to take a minute. I'm going to stop it here, and I'll come back when it's done. All right, that's done. Let's do the final one. ML agents-ns. The last time I did this, uh, I finished installing everything, and uh, it comes with a command, uh, which is called mlagents-learn, uh, and it, throw, it threw an error. So let's check right now to see if this is going to throw. Nope, it's going to work. Look at that. Easy peasy. Uh, we'll come back to this. Okay, so now that we've installed Unity, 
uh, and specifically we have this 2017 for LTF one we're going to start a new project okay actually we're gonna add a project click add go into the tutorial unity tutorial ML agents and find the folder called unity SDK and add it okay select a version and if you have more than one version select the 2017 one and um, open it up uh, it seems to want version 10 but we have 27 I've tried it it works hopefully it works for you if it doesn't uh, let me know what it's saying to you and maybe I can help you debug it but I'm pretty new to unity 3d I learned it a long time ago to make like a simple side scroller just out of curiosity but uh, debugging it is kind of out of my league um, however, I hope to learn quite a lot of it using it as a source for uh, reinforcement learning because this, being able to like build your own environments to do reinforcement learning with uh, opens up a lot, opens up a lot of stuff. I'm, I'd still prefer to use Gato Engine, but uh, the reinforcement learning stuff in it is, it's new, so it's not, you know, this seems really nice. We'll see. We'll see which one ends up being. I'll do. I'll do tutorials on both. The episode after this, I'm going to do a custom environment. So that'll be that'll be very interesting. But that'll be next week, because uh, unfortunately I have to make dinner. Okay. So once you've opened up the imported Unity SDK file, um, you can come down here to the. Apologies again about the the text size. Hopefully you can read this. If you can't, uh, in the project. Uh, window down here there's an assets and then gizmos and ML agents expand ML agents and then expand examples and what you see here is a bunch of pre-made examples of reinforcement learning uh, that unity prepared for us or somebody the guys who did the ML agents for unity prepared for us um, and uh, you can test them all out like right now which is what we're gonna do we'll just go see what we got so 3d ball uh, go into 3d ball and there's brains, materials, prefab scenes, scripts, and TF models. TF models are the trained reinforcement learning models that actually control the objects in the scene. So we're going to load the scene, uh, 3D ball. Uh, when you when it loads, you see here it's a bunch of balls. Uh, I don't know how to use Unity. A bunch of balls floating a bunch above a bunch of tiles. The tiles are what the uh, AI is controlling and the AI basically tries to balance the ball on the tile so let's just play this and we can actually watch the trained model balance the balls it works great so there you go the uh, the AI is currently balancing the balls on all the platforms real simple right like it's not a complex thing what else do we got in here there is banana collectors I don't know what that one is let's go Tennis? Tennis was interesting, I think. We'll go check that out. Scenes. Play it. Boom. So again, this is a different pre-trained model uh, playing tennis. Look at that. Working great, right? Okay, so um, I'll quickly show you some stuff. Let's go load up the uh, 3D ball again, because it's the one we'll train. Basically, there's a a, I don't know what you call these things, component? Is that what they're called? Called Ball 3D Academy. And um, that has a script uh, f that lets you lets you add a brain, which, I, which if you check this box control, we will be able to train. Okay? So the brains are here. Um, I'll have to look into how to make these. Again, this is for the, that's for the next tutorial next week. Um, but for right now, basically TF models go, if you double click on this, the model right here, 3D model NN model is the pre-trained uh, 3D learning model. We're going to go make our own right now. So we won't use this one anymore, we'll use our own. Uh, when we come back, we'll load it in and watch our trained model work. Um, so the cool thing is this ML learn, ML agents learn file. Uh, is like it, it's very very straightforward what you need to do you come into the, the you load up the environment in unity like this you find the ball 3d academy the academy object is uh, what you need and then you check this ball box control so all of these things should have that so let's go back to tennis scenes load tennis don't save 
Uh, it'll have a academy, and in the academy there is a script uh, that points to the brain, again the config file, and we can enable control, and that way we can run this, this command here called mlagents-learn, and that will look for an open Unity 3D engine instance, and uh, begin training whatever you've set it up, however you've set it up, um, to do whatever you've set it up to do. Again, we'll do that in the next episode, but let's let's learn, um, let's go back to 3D ball and learn to balance a ball. Uh -huh. So load it up, go to the academy, enable control, and we are going to run a pre-made command, which is very straightforward. Let's back this one up. Insert. Okay, so what we've inserted here is mlagents-learn config trainer config yaml. So I'm going to open that up real quick. And mlagents, nope. There's a config folder, and in the config folder there's a trainer config.yaml. Uh, in this file, there's a default, which is using PPO, batch sizes, it sets, these are all the settings for the PPO. You'll notice they've made specific ones for different um, environments. We're just going to use the default right now because it works great. Okay? Or I hope it works. We'll see. Uh, the run ID is going to be the name of the training, and I'll show you that once we're done training. Okay? So dash dash train obviously starts training. Since we've set this variable control, It'll, it'll train this. So here we go. I really hope it works. <laughs> no fudge. What's the problem? There is two guys. Okay, so uh, you have to do it from the root ML agents uh, thing. Once you've run it, it'll load up all the the config stuff, right? You have to load it from the one that has config in the root, right? So open this up. Uh, config is right there. That that's what you need to do. Don't be a dummy and try and load the wrong thing. Uh, once once that is, you just push play here and it'll start training. Okay, so here we go. Now it's training. Nope. I screwed it up. Did I wait too long? If you wait too long, it, it'll terminate on you. Machine learning, config, train. Press the play button. OK, there we go. It's training. So you just have to go quicker than I did. Uh, so batch size, blah, blah, blah. As you can see here, it's running a whole bunch of different scenarios and hopefully it's learning what to do. Every, um, how many times? Every 5,000 steps, 50,000 steps? It will give you some results. Uh, for example, I now have a reward of 0.657. Now 0 0.742, that's good. That means that it's getting smarter. Or oh, every 1,000 steps, it'll give you a little update. Um, yeah, yeah, summary frequency, there you go. It's going to train for a total of uh, 5 times 10 to the 4, <laughs> which is 50,000. Uh, we're going to stop it before that, though, because I want to show you a kind of working but not great working one. We're going we're gonna to wait for the reward to get the 1, and then we're going to stop it. Exciting, isn't it? I love re Oh, it's done. Okay, so we're going to cancel it. Uh, once you've canceled it, it will make a file in the models folder, which we will now open up. So, in the root folder of ML agents, there will now be a folder called models, and inside models is first run. Remember, we called it first run? That's what it is. So, this right here, 3D ball learning.nn, is the um, TF model that we're now going to load into the environment. So let me just copy that and go here, TF models, open file containing folder, TF models, and we're going to paste and we're going to name it new. 
Okay, so 3D Ball Learning New is our new NN. So we're going to go back into the environment and we're going to find the prefabs. So the prefabs will change all of the, all, all of these different things are different instances. See, that's that set, that's that set, that's that set. If you don't know how to use Unity, there's a lot to learn here. But if you do, this is real straightforward. So prefabs, go to platform. On platform, we'll see over here the script for uh, the brain. And we're going to double click on this and it's going to show us the model right here okay we're gonna drag our new model which we put into where do we put it TF models this guy here remember we just trained this one dash new we're gonna drag that guy into there so now this when we push play it's gonna run our newly trained model which is only partially trained so it should fail a little bit and literally nothing happened great great work everyone uh, <laughs> the reason this happened is because I forgot to turn off control. So you got to turn off control, uh, go into prefabs, click here, get, where is it? Get in here uh, and add your 3D, the, the new one that we just trained, which we put into TF models. You can put it wherever you want, but that's where I put it. You can select between CPU and GPU. In the instructions, it says to use CPU, which I find interesting. Uh, so here we go. Come on. Yeah. See, it, it, there, oh, oh. So it's not as good as the train model that's included in the thing because I didn't let it run long enough, but you can see that it kind of works. How cool is that? That is extremely cool. Okay, so uh, in the next episode, I'm going to uh, figure out a nice quick way to show you how to use a custom environment. There, it's actually in the instructions, so if you don't want to wait, you can you can download all this stuff and on the GitHub repo, there's like a step-by-step -step on how to do this. Um, if you do do it, like, send me a message and let me see. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.